Hi guys. <clears throat> it has turned into a spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times. In paradise where I am uh, <clears throat> somewhere on the road between Cedar Key and Chiefland, Florida here on this beautiful winter day. Uh, Thursday, January 11th, 2018. Now, despite my uh, my earlier video from today about uh, this dead otter in the middle of the road, which really broke my heart uh, to see that dead otter on the yellow line where some gas-sucking car truck mowed him down during the night. Uh, I've been meaning to have this rant um, after all of the insect getting stories and talking about how you never have, well not never, but hardly ever have insects splatting up against your windshield. And this is true. I have noticed I, I am totally of the camp who understands that uh, you don't see the number of, of insects splatted against the windshields anymore but i think another thing that's just not being talked about at least i've never heard anybody talking about it what i guarantee to you uh is that you don't see nearly as many dead animals in the road as you used to uh if you're over certainly if you're over 30 hell if you're over 10 years old uh, you, you, you just don't see as many just common animals. I'm talking, you know, raccoons and possums and uh, here in Florida, armadillos and, uh, you know, turtles and snakes. It used to be driving down a road like this in Florida, I, I mean, it was just an obstacle course. I've been coming down to this neck of the woods here in Florida between Gainesville and Cedar Key for 50 years. And we were always, uh, when I was a kid, uh, checking out roadkill. And how many times were we pulling over every damn five minutes to help a turtle across the road? Now I admit it's been cold down here last week, but it's been in the upper 70s all week. Uh, I, I've seen turtles out and about in the pond, so I know that reptiles are active now. This is not just a product of the fact that it's uh, that it's January. Uh, I'm just going to see how long uh, that I can go down this back road here here through this swamp in Florida, which is. You know, it's like a wildlife refuge with all the damn wild animals crawling around here. They used to be crawling around here. <clears throat> it, it, there's no fucking way that 40 years ago I would have driven a, as far down this road uh, without coming up on some roadkill. Uh, you know, and uh, there's just there's just not any. And it's not just Florida. I mean, from here to Washington State and back. And it's really the, well, it's everything, but, but particularly reptiles uh, riding all across the west, the western U.S. last summer. I mean, I don't think I ever saw, maybe, maybe, and, and I have put 40,000 miles on this gas-sucking truck in the past two years, 40,000 miles uh, riding these back roads all over the country. And there's just no, uh, you know, I won't, I won't say no, there's just hardly any roadkill. I mean, I'm still waiting uh, to pass my, my first possum or raccoon dead in the road. Uh, here in 
early 2018 driving through this uh, critter filled swamp in Florida. Uh, it's unbelievable. I know there's a hell of a lot more cars, uh, there's a hell of a lot more roads, and, and there's a hell of a lot more cars uh, than there were. 40 years ago, particularly in the state of Florida. So you would think with uh, with twice as many damn cars on the road, although I'm glad to say there don't seem to be that many today, uh, you would see twice as many things splatted in the road. But you don't see any. Uh, not only do you not see more, you, you don't see any of our fellow earthlings being run over by gas-sucking cars, and, and, and the ridiculous conclusion I'm jumping to is the reason you don't see any animals dead in the road, despite the fact there's twice as many cars to run them over, because there, there aren't any animals left to, to run over anymore. They've already been run over. And uh, so, as I continue to drive down what should be dead possum, dead raccoon, dead armadillo alley. Uh, what a, well, now I, I do want to put one asterisk, particularly on I-10 in the Florida Panhandle. One dead animal you do see that you never saw before was coyotes. Uh, there do seem to be more and more coyotes uh, than ever dead in the road. I would say, I would say coming across the panhandle between uh, Pensacola and Tallahassee, I probably saw a dozen dead coyotes and maybe five dead raccoons. And that is it that I saw on my drive across the Florida panhandle last week. So there is that one. You do see more coyotes, uh, at least in Florida, than you ever did because there were not coyotes in Florida uh, 40 years ago. Uh, so maybe the coyotes are the ones eating all the animals. And, but anyway, and a related thing to this has occurred to me when uh, I was meeting up with our Young Tribes member, Inkblot, down there in St. Petersburg uh, last week, just a few days ago. The Inkblot, I believe, is 27, so she's less than uh, half of my age, and we were out on this beach in the mangroves, kind of, uh, out there uh, in St. Petersburg, and it's just like there were no wading birds, just none. And as far as we could see in either direction, I do think we saw two or three pelicans out there. But it reminds me of that my mother grew up in South Florida, uh, in Fort Myers. She was there between 1926 and 1943. She lived in, uh, in Fort Myers, which was a tiny little town uh, back, back in those years. So she would make frequent trips to Miami, you know, the doctor and the dentist and whatnot. And I remember her telling me when, when I was a kid, I'm talking back in the, the 1960s, where it looked to me like there were quite a number uh, I don't believe is that, that, no, I thought it was a wading bird, it's a plastic, it's a white plastic bag. I thought was a, uh, actually going to see an egret in the state of Florida, it was a plastic bag. So anyway, I thought coming across what they call the Tamiami Trail, called US 41, uh, between uh, Miami and Fort Myers back in the 60s and 70s, I, I, I thought it was pretty cool, all of the wading birds that you used to, that I used to see down there. And I remember my mother talking about how when she was a kid, you know, 40 years before that, 
uh, back in the 30s, back in the late 20s and the 30s, that it was just wall-to-wall -wall wading birds. They, you know, uh, egrets and herons and wood storks, roseate spoonbills. They just lined the roads, well actually lined the canal. Uh, and she said there were hundreds, if not thousands of them, uh, lining the canals along uh, the Tamiami Trail uh, when she was a kid. And what I was seeing in the, in the 60s and 70s uh, was a tiny remnant of, uh, of what we were seeing. Now, when DDT was banned, uh, when was it banned? In 62, you thought the problem would get better. It made no fucking difference when DDT was banned. And now my guess, I have not been across the Tamiami Trail myself in about 30 years. My guess, if I went down there today between Fort Myers and Miami, I would be lucky to see two dozen wading birds. Uh, but, but of course, this, this is what they, they talk about, this baseline, that where each succeeding generation doesn't know what they have lost since the last generation. Are, are you following me? So uh, it, it took my mother to explain to me what my generation has lost as just a number of our fellow earthlings uh, have been obliterated off the face of the earth. Just like so now when I'm out with a 27 year old, I'm explaining to them uh, my baseline and with each succeeding generation uh, you know there's less and less and less or should that be fewer and fewer and fewer of our uh, of our fellow earthlings uh, left on the planet uh, and it's sure as hell not just limited to uh, sure as hell not just limited to Florida it is all over the planet. Uh, and that insectageddon is uh, alive and well with uh, the, the mammals, the birds, the reptiles uh, as we continue to uh, obliterate every one of our fellow earthlings off the face of this planet. Uh, maybe I'm crazy. But I would like to hear anyone else's comments on this. I guess I'm going to wrap this video up. I was, I, I, I was honestly believing that by now, I've been talking here for how many minutes? Close to 20 minutes? That, I, I, I mean, not one possum, not one raccoon, not one armadillo uh, driving across this swamp in Central Florida. We're fucked. We're fucked. Anyway, I've got to wrap up this rant and get ready to, uh, well, I got to go eat some factory farmed pig for lunch. Uh, and then I got to go figure out how to get internet into my little uh, bivouac in the end times out in the middle of nowhere, which is the main focus of my day to day. I've got the electricity. Now I just need the internet. Wish me luck. Bye guys.